Time for another chapter in the saga of Scootergate. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for the response, Lord Justice. I will try my best to take a good look at my list of witnesses and get to the bare bones and essentials of my argument. I think that the best course of action in my situation is to put myself on the stand and have a lot of affidavits to use as visual aids while giving my testimony. I do look forward to giving She-Hulk the opportunity to cross-examine me because I have said I have nothing to hide. The individual that did my investigation has a reputation as being that guy that trips people up and catches people in a lie. That is not going to happen in the courtroom. When I do something wrong, I always own it 100% of the time. People have been using their cell phones in the break room and on grounds at the monastery for decades. And I believe the facts will show I have done nothing to be terminated for. This is an egregious reach and abuse of authority. The rules of the state of Wisconsin are meant to be firm and fair for all employees. If this were a matter going before a trial of impartial peers, it would have been settled out of court months ago, in my opinion. I'm glad to see that written arguments can be made beforehand. I recently asked for my personal file from the monastery, and that was given to me by Lady Voldemort. In that file was an incident that happened over a year ago involving an incident that involved me defending myself from a physical attack of an aggressive patient. I was put under investigation and put on administrative leave for pushing the individual away from me while he was trying to strike me in the face with a closed fist. I could have had this incident removed from my record after a year had passed, but I chose not to do so. Big Red brought up this incident in my termination meeting over the phone, and therefore I believe it is fair game to discuss during my case. There is a definite pattern of targeting and trying to discredit my reputation that has been going on for some time now at the monastery. I've been an advocate for the patients and their safety my entire career, and it feels to me that the management is not pleased with my advocacy and just wants me to go away. As a warm-up, I am curious if you and She-Hulk would like me to do a write-up of that particular incident. That way, you can both see if the effort is helpful to our case. As I mentioned before to She-Hulk, I'm going to try to settle this matter amicably each week. As my side of the story is brought more to light, I think that the state of Wisconsin will be eager to settle through mediation. Another point that I would like to make is the difficulty I am facing using the internet and email to contact people that work for the state of Wisconsin. So I'd like to ask She-Hulk a direct question. Is the state of Wisconsin blocking any of my email addresses from contacting state employees? I have sent several emails that have bounced as undeliverable, and people sympathetic to my position are not able to email me. My guess is the state of Wisconsin blocks internet websites such as Pornhub, so they cannot be accessed by state employees. It would stand to reason that the state could also block certain email addresses. I have evidence of these email issues and plan to investigate these claims on my own. As I said, I do not expect any special treatment because I have worked for the state 22 years. I just ask for fairness. I'm saddened that I have to ask for that. I am not after sensitive information and am only interested in clearing my name and reputation. One last thing. I know you are probably a very busy lady, runaway spoon, but when I send an email message out to you and She-Hulk, could you please send me an acknowledgement message? It can be as simple as, got it, or perhaps you can set up an automated response to show that my email was received. People ignoring each other seldom solves anything. You all have a pleasant day and stay warm out there.
Sweetie, how are those eggs? Delicious, thank you. Hey, I just want to say not everything you find on Facebook is complete garbage. Okay.